money on that second, third down conversion on the last drive. You dive forward, you get it, you get up, you're excited, you're yelling. What's going through your head at that point? Um, I mean, I knew the situation in the game where, you know, if we got two more first downs, it was kind of over. Um, I knew they were burning time out, so um, uh, I told them to just keep the ball in my hands. I wanted to go you know, do it myself and, and get the first. And those guys up front did a great job. Um, it, was, it was a great call, too. Kenny, all week long, there have been a lot of talk that you know, Pitt is the favorite in this one. Pitt is, has the higher ranking, has a better record, et cetera. Did you guys buy into that coming in? Did you feel confident like you were the better team coming in, even though their name is Clemson? Um, no, I mean, we, we came in thinking we were the better team that we're going to come in and get a win. Um, but like you said, I mean, they're still Clemson. They're a great team um, with a great defense. So we, we got to come in with, with the energy. And um, you know, the motto is really win at all costs. So whoever we have to do is win. Can you get a lot of pressure on you early in the game? What happened to, to, ease, to ease that off a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think our, our line kind of got used to seeing it. Um, they did a good job of mixing up looks. And I knew I was going to see you know, a lot of different defenses, a lot of different coverages. Um, so I really wasn't going to try and press early and, and make big plays. I was going to take what they gave me, um, you know, get a feel for the game, and then we'll go from there. Kenny, you have going for one pick on the, on the year so far. What goes into that patience? Because early, like you said, you weren't, you didn't make the big mistake. You didn't buy into any of their coverage switches. And then when it was time to make the big plays, you leave two huge touchdown drives. Um, yeah, I mean, like like I said before, it's kind of just taking what they give me, right? Not forcing anything, um, letting the game come to me, let the game come to our offense. Because we know once we get rolling, um, we get that rhythm. We feel pretty good with where we're at, so uh, that's really the key. I know you yeah. try to like, ignore everything, but all the attention this week, all the articles, you're on college game day today. What's it like to, you know, once the game starts and you're just playing and you get to prove yourself? Um, I mean, it's really just play. You know, I mean, I can't can't really explain it. I just feel really comfortable out there. Um, I don't really think about all that stuff. It's it's great for the media. Um, you know, I'm grateful grateful for all the kind words, but once I get out there, I'm ready to play. Kenny, can you walk us through the fourth? urge it all to go for it and take through that play. Which one? On the fourth and five touchdown piece here. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I heard that we had two. I could see the coach talking and, and uh, that we had two downs. Um, and I saw the covers that we had. It was, you know, a great call by Coach Whip and Tasty ran a great route. Um, you know, it was one of those plays pre-snap. I, I knew I had it. Um, so I just had to make sure I didn't overthrow it because it was so wide open. Can you guess had a turnover in the first half? You kind of started slow. You lost. Jordan and, and Izzy in the second half. There was some adversity there. What was the kind of mood on the huddle and the offensive sideline? How, how did you feel like you guys got over that as the game went on? Um, I don't think guys were, were really phased, which was the great thing to see. I mean, it was next man up. Obviously, we really missed those two guys, and, and they're big time players for us. But in that moment, it's really okay. Rodney's turn to come up. He had, he had fresh legs. And, uh, for, for a true freshman to come in there and do what he did, he did a heck of a job. Thank you, uh, Ken. We asked you. Uh, early, earlier this week about the offensive line if they turn the corner and you said like yeah but we haven't seen their potential yet was this their potential because they took on a really tough opponent and it gave y'all some grueling drive in the second half I think so I mean you, you look at um, the kind of quality of the opponent that we played and what they've done to other teams what they did the number one team in the country we were able to come in here and put up points and those guys really control the line of scrimmage um, it's hats off to them for all the hard work all the extra time that those guys put in so I'm, I'm incredibly proud of them Kenny, do you feel like a win at a night like this for you and for this team, a team with so many seniors, so many older guys, kind of a long time coming in a way? Uh, I mean, you got to go get it, right? It's not you can't just can't just say it's a long time coming and just hope for it to happen. You got to go do it. So I'm, I'm proud of every guy in there that, that went out there and um, you know mastered the game plan, which is what we need to do, and go execute at a high level. Kenny, following up on that, is, is there something a little bit different about this team overall as opposed to other additions that you may have been around that allows you to have done that? with maybe in a similar game and similar situations in years gone by, you have not. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's it's really you know player-led team, which is something that our coach has been preaching for us to, to get to. And now that we're at that point, you know we're playing to win, not playing like to not lose. I think that's a huge difference when you're out there in the fourth quarter and guys are playing aggressive. Um, you know, and we're in a four-minute drill, but we're going after them, and, and we're calling plays to, to go score, and we're doing certain things that we're attacking. I think it's just kind of a different mindset we have. Pat, was, Pat just talked about that leadership play, leadership, and you named you. He said that you know, you're, you're the leader here. What's it like walking with that with that kind of leadership and that responsibility on your shoulders every day in the locker room and then seeing this kind of success and feeling the energy to your guys? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of just an everyday thing that I, you know, as a, as a true freshman, when I came in, I really wanted to, to take over like a pro and not really take over the offense of the team, but just come in and, and, and work hard and, and earn the respect of my teammates. And then once you earn the respect, you can start to become more vocal, and that's kind of how it works. And, um, you know, I appreciate that these guys looked at me as that kind of leadership, you know, role. 
Um, and it's really just kind of being myself, and I have great relationships with everybody on the team. Kanye, what did you think of the atmosphere tonight with the student section and, and Nancy and the cheer team? What did you think of that? Yeah, it was unbelievable, and I, you know, I thank you to the fans that came out and supported and made you know a heck of an atmosphere. They had some false starts on offense, and uh, I know they had some communication issues. So, um, you know, I really appreciate everyone coming out and showing some love. Kaylee, do you have one of oven glove? Because it seems like you've been harder than fish grease lately, man. So, can you tell me that? How's that zone feel, man? You've been on fire lately. How's my zone feel? How the gloves feel? <laughs> <laughs> How's the zone feel? Zone, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it feels good. I want to keep it going. Um, you know, it's week seven. And we got Miami coming in, so um, you know, another another in conference game. And this will all be for nothing if we don't handle business. So I'm excited to get back to that one. I don't think we can top that question. To like. <laughs> <laughs>